Good afternoon, my followers, all 12 of you. Got a, oof, got a lot of snow happening. Out here in good old Southern California, high desert. Um, yeah, <clears throat> got the Audi out here. Kids first gen out there anyway today I've got the truck in the garage <coughs> I'm gonna be uh, I'll probably swap everything off under here and uh, put it all back to the chimney put the chimney on there put all this uh, back on there and uh, put everything back in the barn so I can have most of my garage back. Um, yeah. It's pretty cold out here. I don't know if I'm going to do anything. I don't know how y'all y'all people do it where you live. So we got about five to six inches of snow already. My bushes are like, those are oleanders. They're like, what the heck is all this crap? <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get started. I did buy some new little feet for my stool. So that <clears throat> doesn't roll while I'm on it. Anyway, I'll grab it. So I pretty much won't do a video of putting it back just because oh you know what I will I'll set up the camera and uh, do a quick little video I'm kind of cold I usually don't get cold um, <clears throat> I'm hoping these are the right size to plug this line right here which it doesn't look like they are um, because this line here that goes to the exhaust back there uh, was completely plugged and I don't want to deal with that so I'd rather just take it off <clears throat> so I don't have to mess with unplugging it and anyway so let me uh, get set up or maybe I'll just go in the house <laughs> I don't know you'll either see this with me cold or You'll see it another day. So I'll be right back. Alright, well I guess I'm going to work. So, the good thing about this truck is all standard or metric, metric sizes. And it's not that size. There's a bolt on here, a couple bolts that are that size. 7 millimeter. I don't remember where they are, but oh, we'll see how Oh, none of this 
crap breaks because it's all cold. One, two, that one's going to be hard to get to. So I'm just going to take it all apart. together Try not to damage these gaskets. Considering I just bought them. Okay. There's two gaskets. There's that. doing this it's, it's not really a lot of work but it kind of is a lot of work oh. just trying to remember where everything is all the hose clamps all the banding oh. and then try not to fall off this thing You guys can't even see what I'm doing. That's why I don't even want to videotape this crap. Um, but yeah, anyway. Yeah, this uh, little stand isn't working any better. <laughs> I think it's worse with the new little feet. But anyway, I'm just going to go until the battery dies, I guess. Um, let's see this crap here. So, yeah, two back skits. Closed. All right, what else? Um,
Okay, going right. I'm not gonna do the exhaust because uh, there's just too much water in the water down there. So. Weird. I don't know if you can see, but I didn't have this hose hooked up. But nothing looked like it was leaking. Cold, pretty, pretty, pretty cold. that there was a high idle, low idle, some blah 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 blah. So, just the gasket right there. I need to change the fuel line. I need to take this hose off. So, anyway. Yeah, fun, 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 fun. Some of you guys or a couple of guys, I don't know if they commented, I can't really remember, but <clears throat> somebody commented and then somebody else said uh, wanted to see what I was doing with all the stock parts or uh, the other parts. Well, I'm keeping all the parts obviously, I'm putting them all back on the truck because I want to. So anyway, this side, oh, I gotta do the fuel line. <sighs> so it's a 19 millimeter for the fuel line. If you can, just use a fuel line wrench or a line wrench. I tried doing it with a regular 19. Hard to do, hard to see. Sorry guys. Uh, this 
say. Somebody asked to ask for me to do this video to put it all back together, and I didn't really want to. But whatever. Fuel line. Don't leak. Don't leak. Okay, now. So. Banks, ram air, or whatever it's called, the elbow basically, the intake, horn, whatever you want to call it. And it's a special fuel line that you get from Banks. And uh, yeah, it goes on and everybody's happy because it's not in your way. There's a lot of other companies out there. A lot of the companies they'll cut the pipe and or the, they'll make their own little intakes and it's pretty it's a horrible design that they do they kind of split it and just to get the fuel line or they'll crush the top of the tube instead of it having a, a good flow all the way through they crush it so you got a, a thingy in there Maybe you can do a light or something Magnets really not that strong. Oh, it's not falling at me in the head. Anyway, we'll go to here. I'm not really doing anything. Anyway, it's got a lot of soot and a lot of nasty buildup in here. So, I don't know if you can see that on the screwdriver. But yeah, it's pretty nasty. It's actually where the grid here is are. It's all kicked up. getting some oil leakage from that uh, fitting not being hooked up but whatever it's what it is I got it past small I got it all registered whatever I care but I don't care at the same time better. It's going to be a long, boring, stupid video. I'm just going to clean all this off. off. Let's put it all up there. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab my, my hose. Um, I'm going to use that line. Let's see the other one pockets down there. Uh, oh, man. Ooh. Yes. So 
So you gotta use the banks. The banks one four inch to I don't know what that is, three inch. Whatever it is. It's out cold on the couch because I woke him up this morning. I let him know that he was snowing. So, yeah. Three, three hands in here real quick. But I didn't want to happen at my brother's house because he was getting all kinds of snow at his house. And uh, when I was supposed to go out there to swap everything over to stock, to register the truck, he was getting all this snow and all kinds of weather. And that's why I didn't go out there because it was snowing. And he had like... I don't know, 10 inches of snow or something. Something crazy. Damn.
hard as it can be. a tricky part why well, I didn't want to film but it is what it is <sighs> well guys camera died thankfully <laughs> the light just shut off just as I come out anyway got it all off everything's off everything's on air filter sensors sensor sensors breather that crap. <clears throat> I got everything put away in the box. In here. So now I'm just going to squeegee the floor. And start laying some pipe. Try to install the... Uh... <sighs> got to install the exhaust. So that... <clears throat> I will not take you guys down under there with me. Anyway, it's still cold out here. I think it's colder. <clears throat> so I just gotta check everything under here. And uh, yeah, so as you can see, that's how much fluid that EGR cooler takes right there. So I won't be adding that. That's garbage. Ugh. I got some new coolant sitting over there. But yeah, I got the box bolted down. Oh, that's what I forgot. Okay, I can still get to it. I got to put plugs in here. Um, the pipe I don't have. These I was going to try to use, but they're the wrong thread. So I'll take those back. Um, and I'm going to, I'm just going to try to see if I can find a bolt or something that I can put in there, or there is some stuff on this engine. <clears throat> Man, this thing weighs so much. Oh, jeez. I might steal these two right here, one and two, and plug them, and then I'll buy new ones for these. So I'm going to try that right now. This way I know this is done. I can just basically shut this. Add some coolant to... Oh, this is a coolant. I wonder why that won't stay shut. <sighs> anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to add some coolant. And then I can shut this, but whatever, I'm over it. So, uh, yeah, add coolant, put those little plugs in there, and uh, go underneath. Um, I won't show you guys, I'll probably do maybe a startup in the morning of it all done, but I gotta get it done because it's almost six o'clock. So, uh, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow morning to show you the startup because you guys do not need to see me doing the exhaust. All right. All I can tell you is 15 millimeter, uh, an 11 millimeter, 11 millimeter for the downpipe on the ratchet, uh, 15 millimeter wrench, and there's a lot of sensors under there. So uh, I kind of do, I do want to try out this tool, this also tools. Um, however, down under there, I don't know. I don't really want to mess with it. So, all right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, guys, it's really cold. And I was under the truck doing the whole exhaust. And snow was just melting and melting and melting. And so I'm freezing. I had to take the sweatshirt off. So, right now, it is just uh, downloading, saving the stock tune right now. And I fell out of the truck earlier, so I need to pull hands. Okay. So, 
preparing to download. I don't even know if you can read that. So, it's gonna have to go through no bus because it's a truck, it's not a bus. Um, so it's riding the engine. Uh oh, right of gas. Um, anyway, it's riding the engine tune 1% done. It's going to take about, I don't know, it took last time when I did this. When I first installed all this stuff, it took about two hours. Meh, maybe not two hours. Maybe a half hour. Felt like two hours. So, anyway, I'm going to go try to, uh, I don't know. I'm out here freezing cold. It's so cold that it won't even register the temperature. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know why it's doing that. Um, probably because it's riding everything. So, um, but yeah. Oh, she's, uh, something stuck to my butt. <laughs> so I'm completely frozen. I'm over it. I'm probably gonna get sick. So uh, yeah. Um, let me do. Let me let this all finish. I don't even have any lights in here. Let me let that all finish. And then uh, we'll do a first start. See how it does. I gotta get this truck out of here so that I can go in. It's almost 8.30. And it's probably about 25 degrees outside. Um, which to most places. Like I lived in Colorado for 10 years. I don't even know if you can see me. I lived in Colorado for 10 years. And this temperature out here is a different. A totally different type of temperature it's like I was telling a co-worker yesterday we were out working and uh, it was I think like 38 degrees outside and uh, he's he was freezing cold and I was you know I was cold of course I'm not gonna say I wasn't cold but anyway I was cold and I don't know what it is it's a high desert I don't know how it works or why it's like this but um, when I was in Colorado, I would go from like five degrees, you know, negative five degrees, five degrees out in Colorado, and I'd come out here and it'd be 30 degrees and I'd be colder out here than I was at five and negative five degrees. So, um, I don't know how it works. Anyway, just a little backstory. So let me get this all downloaded, uploaded, whatever it does. And uh, we'll do a first start of this whole truck. All right, he's alive. Wall pressure, updating files. Um. Mini bag. Got it all done. Let me go ahead and <laughs> now we got some noise. It's going along. Check everything out. Alright. Okay guys, I'm gonna move the truck and pull the Audi in here. Oh it's cold outside. Truck says it's 36. I'm gonna call the truck a liar. All right. So, all right, guys. Uh, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys even watch to the end, thank you. Give me a thumbs up. It's kind of a boring video. Kind of is what it is. Sounds like I got an exhaust leak somewhere, but. Oh yeah. I got those little, uh, those stupid little things out. That's what it is. Alright guys, I'll fix those tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you guys think. Later.